you see you for your debut. How's the week been? And what was that moment like when your team, when you were named in the team? I was actually surprised. Um, I haven't played in four weeks, so the last game I played was um, the Landers preseason. So, yeah, I was actually shocked when I saw my name on the board, and because I actually thought I was going to be a gatekeeper, which is the non-23. So, I was ready to make the boys bitter for the Blues game this week, but um, happened to be on the other side. So, I'm still quite surprised, but um, more excited just to be out there. I haven't played in four weeks, so ready to chuck the ball around and have fun, man. So, yeah. And since you've been, since, since the pre-season and building into the season, and you, you first year with the Crusaders, how would you describe it so far? It's been good. I think I, th I think I talked about this last time, but it's the people. Um, genuine people, good connection, and yeah, it's a, it's a good environment, healthy environment, good competition, and I really enjoy it here, so yeah. It doesn't get much bigger than the Blues for your first game as well <laughs> at Eden Park. Yeah, yeah, um, good team, obviously. A lot of firepower in that team, so it's exciting for me, and uh, I think I'll just embrace it. So, yeah. What sort of stood out for you in the last? You know, you haven't been playing, but what mm. stood out for you, and while you've been helping the team prepare, and while you've just been in the mix? Um, individually, or as a team, what stood out? As a team, the whole environment, I guess, and just how, the, how things have been rolling here. I think the attention to the detail here. Um, Scotty's always putting up clips every day for people to look at when you walk in the room, and. I think um, that's why it's so good here. The culture is you're, you can always get better. Um, so yeah, it, that's what stood out for me is, is every day you can always get better and yeah. What can Crusaders fans expect from you when you're out when you get out in the field on the weekend? <laughs> oh, don't expect much, man. I'm just I'm just here to do my job, and if um, any opportunities arise, then I'll take it. So um, yeah, I'm not going to force anything. Just do my part for the team, and and yeah, if the opportunity presents itself, I'll take it. Just uh, did you have a niggle or something, mate? Or what happened? Yeah, so I sprained my ankle in the Landers preseason. It's quite annoying because I actually sprained it myself. Um, yeah, it must have been a sniper from somewhere on the stands, but yeah. So four weeks later, and now I'm here. So recovered. Just on, just on that attention to detail, mm. what, what's been the big thing that while well, you have been on the sideline, you individually feel like you've you've worked on or harness ahead of your, your opening I think, yeah, a big thing is for me is scanning. Um, as a winger, you can see things from afar, so you can you can voice it before the ball gets out to you. So I think that plays a big role in, in our attack is our outsides being able to voice what they see. Yeah, hope that makes sense. Is that party out the back going to be flying high at Eden Park? Yeah, oh, I hope that's if I get on. Um, Funny story, the only reason why I got it because it makes me look faster. So the longer it grows, the faster I look, apparently. So that's the only reason why it's there. You're hoping that might intimidate some, some blues wingers coming up? Hopefully. Well, it's pros and cons because like, if I run fast, it, look, like, it looks good. But if I get hit, it just even more effect on it. So yeah, pros and cons to the mullet, I reckon. Love it. Brilliant. Thanks, man. Enjoy it. Cheers.